YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at these two models of um, Dawa video IP door phones. Okay, this is the indoor monitor, Dawa indoor monitor IP. This is what it looks like. And then we'll also be looking at um, this particular model of the outdoor unit this model here okay so we'll be looking at the this is the wi-fi um model of the outdoor unit so today we'll be looking at the configuration all right so um let's open our toolbox the first thing we'll do we'll open the toolbox and um we'll come to we we'll scroll down to vdp config and then we'll open up the tool once we open up the tool and your devices are correctly connected or um, using your poe port uh it should show like this so the two um uh, devices aren't um initialized yet the vto is the outdoor unit the vth is the indoor unit we can see from the image <clears throat> the previous image um the ip address for each device so we'll be using um 192.168.1.110 which is for the outdoor unit let us initialize it so um basically we'll do the once we log into the web interface for the outdoor unit we'll just set it up right here uh impute the password you want to use and confirm password um here you can set up uh, email so that um, you can always retrieve the password when you forget it through the email you impute here but for now let's go to next okay after that we are going to log into the outdoor unit okay um using the password that we just set for the outdoor unit so what we want to do here is we want to check in the configuration of uh, of the outdoor unit so we we'll come down to local config and then uh, let's go to the network setting okay this is what the network setting looks like on this side we have the uh, wireless LAN setting you can see the IP address 111 and then you can see the LAN setting 110. Okay, let's go to the Wi Fi, switch it off because we're not using the Wi Fi uh, option, we're using the LAN option. So let's go back to basic. Now, um, you can see here that the LAN option is tick to show that that's what we're using, and then the configuration thereof. So let's save, okay? Let's save to be on the server side okay um next we want to set up the sip server note that the sip server the details in the sip server is the same detail in the um, outdoor unit which is um, make sure that the ip address here is the same as that of the outdoor unit for the um sip server setting okay uh, i that option um, will make it go back to restart okay that option will make the device restart so we'll have to wait for the device to restart right now okay let's go to the toolbox and see uh let's check out the device when it comes back on okay so it's loading it's loading it's loading it's loading so when the device comes back on then we can go back into it to enable the sip server okay all right it's back on okay so uh let's log in and um okay go back to network uh settings Net network settings okay all right uh let's go to sip okay that was where we were enable that sip okay so the sip server password is the same as the uh outdoor unit 
uh, password okay um, every other information on that SIP we can leave it um, the way it is okay so let's go back to refresh 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 after we've um, made our correction we're going to try and refresh so let's initialize the indoor unit okay this is your indoor unit uh, is powered on so we set password for the indoor unit okay our remember that our um outdoor unit is prepared already we've set the sip server okay and then we've set the um the lan settings for that um, outdoor camera so what we'll do here is we'll be imputing those information in the indoor um unit okay so once we're done setting up the password we'll click on settings we'll hold it down for six seconds to enter uh the config um, settings okay we we'll put in the password we just set just now okay so this is what it looks like here you see the network setting the vth config the sip server okay the sip server remember is uh 192.168.1.110 okay the password is the same password as the vto password okay now let's change this as well the vto is the outdoor unit it has to be the same ip address with the outdoor unit okay and then the same password we set for the outdoor device will be what will be here so enable status make sure it's enabled okay and uh, let's go back to home let's try and um make the call from the outdoor unit now that our setting is done okay all right uh it's a successful configuration as you can see it's a successful configuration hi guys hello okay this is fantastic okay all right let's test hello okay so that's basically it um, um that's basically the configuration just make sure that the settings okay let's try and dial the um outdoor from inside okay the outdoor number is eight zero zero one so you dial it in the let's see you're dialing the outdoor unit okay this is it oh fantastic it works great so at this point if you've not subscribed to our channel please subscribe uh, like and comment also share and uh, let us know if um, you want us to shoot more videos like this um, we'll be looking out for you in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day bye